I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm a plastic. It's been, what is this going on right now? Child, I don't know. YouTuber on the YouTube Shakia Renee back with another dope yet colorful video and this time I am going to be showing you how I achieve this nice pink color on this unit using a five minute method you guys it took me actually maybe three minutes to achieve this color and it is my first time I'm um, going pink but you know how she likes to do it a ski wee my sorors a ski wee to all of you out there you know she loves a good pink and a green but before we get started you guys i have to give you my upload schedule and that is sing it with me tuesday thursday sunday 6 p.m not monday not wednesday not friday not saturday y'all not gonna work the hell out of me y'all not gonna work the hell out of me except for this week except for this week i gotta get these videos up you guys so as you can see your girl has stuff completely out of her box and this is a unit that was sent to me from wigs by Dot com and it says this is the secret of instant beauty now they did not send it over in this color i actually got it in a number 22 which is a blonde but i've always wanted to try this like cotton candy pink look so i decided why not those combs rattling around in this box and they don't want me to be going out here in these streets so let me put this box down basically this was a number 22 in color it was a blonde but i decided to just change it to a pink color to try something different you know living my best life honey I ain't going back and forth with nobody so i was like you know why not go on, jump on out there that's exactly what i decided to do um this is a really really easy method you guys in case you have never seen this done i promise you it takes little to no um time to complete you don't have to be a weave and or wig i'll just to do this color um i did not dye the roots i know you guys see where i darkened the roots up i dipped it and left it it was all over pink um and i just took a little mascara to create the dark root illusion in order for me to achieve this color i used my adore 190 cotton candy and adore 191 in fruit punch and you guys can see where it has like this two-tone ombreish look um where it's kind of light and darker in places and you can still see the blonde color kind of peeking out a little bit and that's what i really really like about um this color is that it came out really really uniquely um which is really really different for me but i am loving it so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look on this unit from wigsby.com using my adore um 190 and 191 colors then let's get into it okay boo so we are starting off with our wigs by the secret of instant beauty unit and this is the color that it came in originally as i said it's a number 22 it's blonde and although i love the blonde look some of you guys were hating on the kid i decided i just wanted to try something extremely drastic by going with a pink so i'm gonna take my adore um 190 and 191 which was cotton candy and fruit punch and as you can see we got some boiling hot water here and we are going to begin pouring our color into this pot now let me just say that i do like to cook 
you know, some turkey necks and crab legs and all of that in this pot. But we're going to clean it out real good before. <laughs> we're going to clean it out before we cook in it again, okay? Um, but, you know, that's for the haters out there who won't let me be great out here in, in these highways and byways. I'm also adding a little bit of conditioner and that is just some VO5 conditioner. And just in case I did not mention, because I was cracking my little jokey jokes, um, I didn't use um, the entire bottle of color. I just used maybe like a half a bottle, if that much. And so here you just see me stirring it up like a big old pot of Kool-Aid with no sugar, honey. We're gonna start dipping in this unit. And as you can see, the color instantly jumps onto and latches on to that wig. So I'm just stirring it up, cooking it up in this pot, honey, you know, blending it and mixing it. I made sure that I have on my gloves, A, because my nails cost a whole lot of money to get done, and B, because I do not want to mess them up or get this dye on my fingers or hands or whatever, so use gloves, okay? And be really, really careful, you guys, because this water, as I said, is extremely hot. And I just let this sit for about three to five minutes. I promise you, I feel like it was more um, so towards three minutes. And now I'm just picking it up just to check the color. And you will see again that this is like the easiest process ever. Like if you wanted to do an ombre look or three different colors, it's easy to do. You could dip the top first, then you could dip the um, ends. You know, the sky is the limit and it's really, really quick. So it cuts down on all the time of using a brush and a bowl to dye hair, which is why I have stopped doing so many color processes on my channel like if you go way back with me that you then you know girl wait time out pause now you know what i was doing good but you guys know i always eat before i do my voiceovers if you don't and you know here girl yes i like to eat honey buns i like to eat chips i like to but today i was eating these cranberries and they like are some flavored cranberries and they are absolutely delicious but they got me on this channel stuttering and I need to do better out here in these streets. But <laughs> I do not re-record my voiceover. So I just kind of watch it and talk as I go. So some of y'all like it, some of you don't, but whatever. So this is pretty much the color that I have achieved using this method. So now I'm just going to carefully pour out this water and now I am going to proceed to just wash this wig and the only thing I used to wash it um, was the conditioner you just want to make sure you get all the extra um, color out of the hair and make sure that it is draining down the sink clear because you don't want any leftover product so that's what you see me doing here and yeah, as you can see, it didn't take very long at all. And I can tell you right now, off the top, this unit, very little shedding, very, very little shedding. And I love this frontal in the beginning. Uh, girl, I was gonna say in the beginning. At the front of the unit. Now, I also wanna point out that it is a little bit big on my head. I should've got a smaller cap size. I think I got a medium, but I'm not real sure what I got, so. I don't know. But anyways, we are pretty much finished. And as you can see, like I said, a little bit of shedding, nothing to be you know, concerned about, but it was some shedding. You know, I have to keep it 100, it was a little. So now we're gonna move on to, first of all, let's just go ahead and get this out the way. Bessie didn't seen her better days. Bessie knows and fell off her lipstick. Honey, she just had a long night out. <laughs> My little mannequin hunter been out in these highways and byways, Lord, she just has it's a rough life out here for her. So let her be great, okay? I have another one, but my sister has it. And like I said, she makes all of my wigs. So yeah, we had to pull out old Bessie and try Bessie to see her better days. But here I'm just a flat, not flat iron, blow drying her hair. And I'm just using a paddle brush and we are going to get this dry and as best as we can. So this part is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just gonna keep 
brush it through the hair until I can get it dried out. And it kind of dried pretty quickly. I couldn't believe that it dried as fast as it did. Now, I do have to let you know that I did have to put like um, paper on a plastic bag rather underneath the mannequin so that when it was dripping, that water and color, I did not want that on my floors, okay? So um, I do have something under the mannequin but one thing that you can see with this color is that it did leave a little bit of that blonde in it which i think is perfect so you have like three different tones you got the light pink you got dark pink going on and you got blonde so it just gave me this perfect three-toned uh look and just gave this hair some life like i said i really do like the blonde look but i've never tried a pastel pink and i was like you know what i'm gonna girl i'm gonna go on out and jump on off this ledge today and try to be great out here um and i actually really really like how it looks so uh here you see me again just blow drying it and you know i did speed this up now this possibly was the longest part the blow drying and the flat ironing girl i flat iron it y'all it is like 4 a.m where i am and i am up doing a voiceover for you guys so that you can see how i did this hair so do not tell me i am not dedicated to my boo things because child the things i do for y'all i like work so very hard but Anyway, so the unit um, itself is from my, you know, just first impression, I think it's some great A hair. It's not wolf, sheep, wombat, or goat fur. This is some good quality hair. So <laughs> I am really, really loving this color. Like I'm so impressed with how easy that was and all you had to do is like dip it in water. So that to me is amazing because you guys like the coloring process takes forever so this cuts down on the time now of course you definitely have to use this method with the lighter color or bleached hair but nevertheless you could change your bleached unit um in three to five minutes you have a whole nother style so this is what it looked like dry and now we are going to apply it and go ahead and flat iron it now, as you guys can see in the root portions, it's a little bit dark, but I'm sure you're like, where she do that girl? I didn't see her with a black dye. I actually just used mascara, you guys. I used a black mascara and I applied that in my part area to give me the illusion of dark roots. It's just something about darker roots in a light color wig that makes it look a whole lot better to me. I mean, in my opinion, it does, but you know, to each his own you don't have to do that but i did it and no the mascara did not mess up the unit and as you can see honey it looks look good to me now it's gonna be a hater somewhere somewhere that does not want me to be great it's gonna say girl that ain't even cute but you know it is what it is so basically this is it for the styling portion i just wanted you guys to see how i blowed it out and flat ironed it so let's move on Okay, boo, so now that we are finished again, this is the completed look. I did um, style the unit so that you guys can see it a little bit on camera. Just a little bit about this hair. This is their 18 inch um, unit and it's actually called the Black China unit. And again, I got it in a color 22. Um, to me, it is affordable. Um, this unit will go for about 200 bucks. Um, of course, you know, that depends on the length of the hair, whatever you decide to get that determines the price. So remember, you get what you pay for, girl. If you want some squirrel hair, go and pay that $20. If you want a good quality hair, a good quality unit, then you can just expect to pay a couple of hundred dollars. Um, I'm really, really excited about this color. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you're feeling or whatever, if you think it's a little too much, if you think it's cute, if you think it's all the way outside my box, or you think I should rock it for a little while, then let me know. You know I like to read your comments and get your opinion. Except for the ones who come trying me trolling out here in these streets, unless you're getting a check for being a hater take that somewhere else okay okay 
So anyways, booze, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to show you how to do it because it's really, I promise you, it's so easy. I can do it because Lord knows I'm not a weave weave. I will just, I just know how to do my own hair and so, and my daughter's. All right, let me know what you think down below again. And don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and turn your notification bell on so you won't miss my latest, greatest, next video. All right, loves. Until next time, adios, peace out, and goodbye. Wait a minute now. They be like, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. All right, I just feel like I'm a bar.